Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume video. And today perfume all is about the most Parisian perfume of all time. I am going to review the best Parisian perfume. You know, this perfume that really smell Paris in a bottle or this perfume inspired by Paris, the most beautiful city in the world of romance, of love, of light. Today's video, you're gonna find the 10 most Parisian perfume. I'm going to review each of them and tell you what I think about them. So let's start this exciting Parisian review. So the first one is from Yves Saint Laurent and the name is Paris. This is a perfume launched in 1983 by Sophia Grosjean. Sophia Grosjean made a lot, a lot of beautiful perfume from Yves Saint Laurent and one of my favorite is also Ivresse Champagne which I reviewed a few months ago. And Paris is a beautiful fruity floral perfume. It's a tribute to the Parisians who are always elegant, romantic, vivacious, ironic, simple, charming. And Paris is a beautiful floral powdery uh, perfume, a combination of rose, violet. It's a woody floral, complex, powdery, creamy on the opening and on the dry down. I'm gonna see musk and sandalwood on the base. This is gorgeous, vibrant, a little bit bubbly. So the most predominant notes are rose, a violet, mimosa, a musk and oak moss. This is really a rose a perfume and this is a tribute of rose. You're gonna find different type of rose and the rose in this perfume is dry because of the violet. You know, violet is a very dry, powdery note. The rose in this perfume is mainly clean, bright, fresh, slightly sweet. This is really a vibrant, fresh, aromatic rose. Another perfume slightly different because it's more fruity on the opening. There's definitely more fruit in this one. It's more fruity and sweety. This is Parisienne by Yves Saint Laurent, launched in 2009. Uh, be careful because this perfume might be discontinued in the next year so be very careful stock this one if you love uh, Parisienne. So this one is a remember of Paris but with different vibe and like I said it's more fruity and a sweety very original a unique note called vinyl. A vinyl note is a synthetic note and it's supposed to smell like sweet plastic slightly chemical but something sweet on the dry down. This is a very unique original note and this perfume smell cranberries with vinyl notes. This is definitely a fruity perfume because on the opening you're gonna get blackberry, cranberry, vinyl, so fruity, sweet, a little bit metallic and I think Yves Saint Laurent used to love metallic notes into perfume. The middle is more floral with a damask rose, violet, a peony, and on the base it's musk, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli. I remember very well this perfume. It's really smelling like cranberries notes. So fruity perfume, cranberries with a vinyl note, something sweet and metallic on the dry down. It's a very beautiful floral fruity perfume. Another perfume more niche, a little bit more exclusive by Orme. This is called Tableau Parisienne. This is a new fragrance launched in 2022. And this perfume has really been inspired by uh, Paris, by the city of Paris, by the style, the lifestyle, the vibe actually of this uh, capital. This is a number fragrance with uh, predominant notes are vanilla and warm spicy tobacco. So this is a tobacco vanilla uh, perfume and it's a very interesting perfume because it smells sweet on the opening but the dry down gets more and more woodsy, more ambery, darker. So what the nose remember of uh, Paris is the nonchalance and the elegance. Says uh, nonchalance, I think he thinks about effortless chic and it is exactly what is about this perfume. This is a very effortless chic, it's sweet, uh, woodsy with some tobacco notes, something very sensual about the sweetness of this perfume. Also the bottle is inspired from the Art Deco movement, so there's something very aesthetic, very designed. So top notes are a blend of spiciness with a fresh ginger, petit grain and a basil. The middle is also spices with rose and 
Chivet Rose. And the base is a sweet tobacco nose, sweet tobacco, tonka bean, benzoin, and a beautiful dark vanilla. So the fourth perfume is Love in Paris by Nina Ricci, launched in 2004. This is really a discovery for me. I know a lot of perfume from Nina Ricci. But this one is a very underrated perfume. I think it's one of the most underrated perfume of all Nina Ricci. It's not expensive, but it smells very, very beautiful. It's a gorgeous, fruity, floral, a sweet perfume with something very romantic. It's enjoyable at the same time. I think it's a beautiful spring time perfume. The predominant notes are peony, rose, a pear, musk and peach. There's also banana on the opening of this perfume. It's a very interesting perfume and I have a sample right here. I really want to know if I really smell uh, the banana note. So let's try this one um, together. Mm. Okay, so I love this perfume and I'm pretty sure that I already smell this perfume. I don't remember if it's someone from my family, from my entourage but my nose recognizes this perfume definitely. There's something very... Ah yeah, this is such a iconic perfume. I definitely smell the banana on the opening. I really smell the fruity note. I'm gonna say the fruity notes are really predominant in this perfume. Mmm. Yeah, jasmine, abricot, uh, the fruity notes, the banana, oh my god. And some white floral notes also, the Lily of the Valley are beautiful, beautiful perfume. I strongly recommend this one. Mm, definitely, I love this one. So another one is Carven Separi, launched in 2021. Also a new perfume. Uh, this is a floral and powdery perfume with a 70s uh, vintage vibe. I think the bottle is also very 70s. It's definitely something vintage uh, about the look. So this is a floral perfume and the predominant notes are rose, gardenia, magnolia and musk. On the opening, you got rose, rhubarb. So very very interesting note, pink paper on the middle, it's creamy and white floral with the gardenia, the magnolia and the jasmine and on the base it's clean and musky. Another one still by Yves Saint Laurent launched in 2016 is called Mont Paris. I'm not a fan of the bottle actually, I'm really not a fan, I think it's much more elegant. This is a fruity, sweet, uh, floral perfume and I think the goal of Yves Saint Laurent was to relaunch uh, the Paris collection, you know, Paris, Parisienne and to make it a little bit more modern. It's very fruity and there's something very intoxicating in this one and I think in my opinion this is a little bit cheap. It de it's definitely cheaper, looks cheaper, smells cheaper than the original uh, Paris collection. On the top it's strawberry, raspberry, pear, bergamot, so very fruity and there's something super intoxicating with the jasmine, uh, the peony, the orange uh, blossom and on the base uh, the patchouli. Now an iconic uh, perfume, unfortunately this one is discontinued but you might find some uh, vintage bottle. I used to wear this one I think seven, eight years ago and I used to find this one at Jacqueline Perfumery in San Francisco. So this is Soir de Paris by Bourgeois, launched in 1928. Such an iconic Parisian uh, perfume. So this perfume has been created by Ernest Beau, the same nose of Chanel, the same nose of Chanel number no. 5. This is a gorgeous perfume, very powdery with some Nivea notes, Nivea uh, vibe, so very clean, very powdery with some Nivea notes, very creamy baby powder vibe but much more expensive, it smells very expensive. So on the opening you used to find violet, peach, abricot, on the middle rose, iris, ylang ylang, lily of the valley, jasmine, and on the base, amber, sandalwood, vanilla and musk. Oh my god, I remember this perfume so well, it was gorgeous. For me, it's the daughter of Leur Bleu and Chanel No. 5. I think it's a blend of both of them, but with some fruity opening because you got peach and abricot on the opening. Rive Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent, launched in 1971, 70 perfume. Of course, I think this perfume is such an iconic Parisian perfume. Rive Gauche means left side 
in English and it refers to the left side of Paris so you know Paris is divided into side there's the right side of Paris which I live by the way and I'm more a right side woman so much more conservative where financial people live so very conservative and old money and you got the left side of Paris so more bohème artistic vibe so this perfume is inspired by the left side of Paris with a bohemian a chic a vibe yeah there's something very artistic with this perfume and I remember very well you know the ad of this one a beautiful Parisian woman uh, sitting on a terrace on a cafe in Paris waiting for maybe a date who knows but very Parisian so this perfume smell like Paris actually uh, this is an aldehyde perfume this is a floral aldehyde and the aldehyde in this one is very very predominant and for me it smells like a bubble bath a perfume with rose and gardenia mm, very very interesting and there's also a metallic note uh, in the background of this perfume that makes the perfume cooler and much more icy another one Dans Paris by uh, Céline and it is also launched in 2019 from their uh, very special luxury collection I don't know Celine perfume to be honest I never try but this perfume is sweet soft and floral uh, with the most predominant note is the vanilla so there's definitely some sweetness uh, on the base of this perfume this is a very vivacious and vibrant perfume with only few notes so that's very interesting and I think Celine is super minimalist uh, this is a super minimalist brand even in the clothes but you're gonna find this minimalism in the perfume there's only vanilla okay uh, laurel blossom which is very aromatic coriander so coriander is aromatic and fresh musk and bergamot so I'm gonna say from the notes this is definitely much more aromatic uh, fresh and sweet than I was expecting they said it's a floral perfume but, but my, in my opinion it's definitely greener than floral and the last one are the eau de chanel collection uh, you know chanel lunch what they call the eau de chanel collection Paris Deauville, uh, Paris Venise, Paris Biarritz for example or Paris Paris and this all the Chanel are very very Parisian and I'm gonna tell you my favorite one the first one is Paris Deauville launched in 2018 and I love this one I really love this one uh, this uh, perfume has been inspired by the seaside resort Deauville you know there's a train usually when you go to Deauville you take the train from uh, Saint Lazare and it's about two hours from Paris and this perfume was inspired by you know this journey between uh, Paris and Deauville and uh, Deauville was also the first city where Chanel where Coco Chanel launched her first uh, boutique so Paris Deauville is an aromatic uh, fresh citrusy uh, perfume with basil lime so citrus and bergamot so you definitely get some eau de cologne uh, vibe eau de cologne ingredients on the opening some green notes blend with jasmine uh, rose and patchouli so definitely a fresh aromatic eau de cologne uh, perfume another one also i love this one is paris venise and i also used to travel between uh, paris and venise uh, this perfume has been launched in 2018 and this is also a citrusy powdery oriental inspired by the baroque and romantic look of uh, both Paris and, and Venice and the most predominant notes are iris so definitely powdery with the iris uh, neroli aromatic with lemon orange and petit grain rose vanilla and white musk I think this one is cleaner this is definitely something cleaner than uh, Paris Deauville so that's it for today I hope you enjoy this review of the most Parisian perfume of all time don't forget to subscribe don't forget also to tell me what you think about this perfume is there any perfume you know and you love to wear in this one what is your favorite parisian perfume and what is the perfume i really express to you uh, paris paris in a bottle what it is so let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe don't forget also to check my other videos and i see you very soon